بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in more than seven places in the Quran he mentions that he subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above his throne tabaraka wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says ar-rahman ala arsh astawa the most merciful uh, above the throne established or he rose above his throne subhanahu wa ta'ala this is mentioned in more than in seven places in the Quran and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that the the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned in many ahadith regarding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raising above the throne and Ahl Sunnah we accept what Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as long as it comes from the Quran or it comes from the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Ahl Sunnah we affirm what Allah affirms about Himself, and we negate what He negates about Himself, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we accept what the apparent meaning of the text uh, emphasizes, what the text illustrates for us. What is apparent, we accept. That's the asl, that's the, the, the foundation of how we form our creed. We don't begin by trying to distort the meaning, or trying to change the meaning, or trying to negate the meaning or the other which ways that the people of innovation and desires change the meaning, the apparent meaning of the text. And Ahl Sunnah we interpret as the Salaf interpreted. If the Salaf stopped at something, then we stop there. For example, the famous statement of Imam Malik when he was asked about how does Ar-Rahman uh, rise above his throne. Imam Malik, he began to sweat profusely. He became very angry to where he was shaking. And he said, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon him. He said, al wa majhul. That the fact that Allah rolls above his throne is known. This is known. This is accepted. And we know what rising means. We know what the throne means and so forth. But the kafiya, how, this is unknown. And then Imam Malik said, Wasual anhu bida. And asking about it is an innovation. Wa anta mu'tadir. Or kema kala Imam Malik. And you are an innovator. So for asking how the kafiya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sifat, his divine names and attributes, this is where people go astray. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam affirmed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, the sifat of nuzul, that Allah descends, then we accept that. The Prophet sallallahu said, Yanzulu Rabbuna ta'ala akhir, that Allah descends down to the lowest heaven every last third of the night. We accept that. We don't know how. We don't ask the kafiyah. But we know that Allah does that. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because it's affirmed in the authentic hadith, and that does not require us to use our intellect to try to make it fit our understanding. Because everyone's understanding is different. My understanding is different than yours. So and so's is different than so and so's. Fatima's is different than Muhammad, and Muhammad is different than Khalid, and Khalid is different than Talib, and Talib is different than uh, Abdurrahman, and Abdurrahman is different than Abdurrahim, etc. Everyone's akal, their intellect, is different. So there's no way you can. Uh, try to explain the sifat in accordance with your intellect at the expense of someone else's. That's why we stop. We stop with the nusus. We stop with the kitab Allah and the sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the salaf al-salih radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in. Also, Ahl sunnah does not, if a text seems that it has, it can have a possible negative implication, Ahl sunnah does not affirm that. So anything that requires negative or requires a nux, something that has shortcomings or faults or something. This is not befitting of trying to uh, describe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who is perfect, the one who is the creator of the heavens and earth, Rabbil Alameen, the one who is ala kulli shayin qadir, the one who is over all, th all things omnipotent. That we don't describe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by those things. But rather we affirm what kitab wa sunnah affirms for us and negate what kitab wa sunnah negates for us 
with the understanding of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala majma'een and the rest of the Salaf al-Saleh radiallahu ta'ala majma'een and we ask that Allah the Almighty by all of his names and attributes blesses us with good and helps us to return to good and helps us and protects us and forgives us for our shortcomings wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Alhamdulillah. So, this is the ni'mah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we ask that He blesses us with sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.